Hey everyone, today we're going to use Smart Paste um, and I'm going to teach you how to use the autofill feature using Smart Paste. Uh, Smart Paste is a Chrome extension that helps you do data entry quicker and uh, we're going to show you how to use the autofill feature in Smart Paste. So what autofill does is you can quickly fill in forms using uh, other data sources such as uh, information you've extracted from other tabs or t uh, tables uh, such as from CSVs or from Excel sheets. So uh, in this example, we're going to fill in the contact information form on Salesforce and we're going to fill it in from a spreadsheet that I have here. Um, afterwards, we're going to go into each individual contact and fill in a sample PDF form. So that could be an example workflow that you can apply to your day-to-day uh, -day tasks. So let's get started. So first, what you have to do is you have to open up Smart, the SmartPace extension. If you haven't already downloaded, uh, you can do it at smartpace.io and you can follow the instructions there. Um, afterwards, open up the ex extension by clicking on this extension button and clicking on Smart Paste. Uh, I'm on incognito mode, but you can pin this as uh, an extension to your Chrome uh, browser. Afterwards, this sidebar should show up. And what you're gonna do first is you're going to go to the form that you wanna fill. So I'm just gonna close it temporarily and I'm gonna go into a new contact information form, right? Um, afterwards, I'm gonna open up the smart paste extension again and we're going to go to paste um, in this case i'm going to paste information that i have in this example spreadsheet um, so this is just a bunch of contact information uh, their names their emails phone numbers uh, education and accountant experience uh, we don't have to use all of the fields uh, in our form but um, that's what we have so the first row should be the label of what uh, column you want. And then afterwards, every row is one record that we're gonna use to fill in the form. So we're gonna copy this. So I'm pressing uh, Control C right here, uh, Command C on Mac. Um, and we're gonna go over to the contact form and go to paste and then press table to form. Afterwards, I'm gonna press import table by clicking this drop down and pressing import table. After that, I'm just gonna paste it, paste the thing I just copied, and I'm gonna press done. So you, as you can see, um, we've pasted the information from Excel to uh, Smart Paste, and all of the information is now on the extension. So it's gonna read the table, and it's gonna to try to match the, uh, the form that's on the screen right now. And as you can see, it's done a decent job of filling in the form. Uh, so this is the label, the top most row. So it's the first name, uh, here's the last name. It couldn't find anything for account name. We're just gonna put group one because it's a required field. Um, here, I, it didn't find anything, but I want this to be the occupation. So I press the occupation and I think that's all we need. Um, I mean, we can also do like uh, experience here and then it's done the phone email this one it's we don't want them to opt out and then the rest is there so that's what it takes to input the form so to fill it now all you have to do is press the record you want and that's it so that's all you need to do to fill in this form so um, it's filled in all the form from that row and in this case, we're gonna be good, and we're just gonna press save. So we created this uh, contact. Um, so we're gonna do this a couple more times. So I'm gonna press new. Um, the smart paste extension has already done, uh, or like we've already set it up, so it already knows exactly what fields you wanna fill in. And we're gonna keep doing that. Um, I think this one we still need automatically in group one. Um, and we're just going to do that one more time and we're going to do Lucy Ellis and then just group one and save and that's 
all you need to do. So if you have a table and uh, you can't import a CSV, because uh, I know in Salesforce you can import uh, certain table information, uh, this is one way to do it manually um, and do it very quickly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to set up uh, SmartPace for field extraction, and then I'm going to uh, extract those fields from these this uh, Salesforce contact information and fill in this form. So again, I'm going to just paste the information I want. Um, but first, what we have to do is we have to uh, change or set up the extraction. So uh, I'm just going to quickly refresh the screen. And then I'm going to create our new field extraction. Uh, if you want a more detailed extraction, we have another video that shows how to set up a field extraction. But I'm just going to quickly uh, set up the field extraction um, to what we want. And then phone and email. So we set up the extraction from this contact information screen, um, and we have this paste form. Uh, I'm also going to refresh this again. Um, and I, as you can see, this is the fields that we just set up right now. Um, so customer name, I'm just going to press name. Um, uh, I'm just going to fill this one with an email. Uh, I'm going to put this one with the phone number. And then I know it says address, but I'm just going to put the title here. Um, so that's all of the information that we've gathered from the extraction we've set up. Um, and we've filled in the form uh, using the information from Salesforce. Um, so how do we change that, right? So we just go to the site for a different person and if this doesn't show up, you can refresh the screen um, and it'll refresh the information for the fields that you set up. And if you go here, now everything is changed exactly to uh, the information that we wanted previously. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you.